Well, hello there. I'm Kim Berry, editor of Food and Drink Business. Welcome to Play, our weekly news roundup brought to you by Hydroflux, a leading provider in uh, tailored water treatment solutions. And in recognising that no two operations are the same, Hydroflux emphasises the importance of customised water and wastewater solutions to meet specific needs. In the news this week, just eight days after it was liquidated, the Aussie plant-based company was acquired and back up and running. Gold Coast company Smart Foods uh, bought the business with its CEO, Raghu Reddy, uh, saying he could see the company's immense potential. The former CEO and company secretary of NUMI, when it was trading as Freedom Foods Group, Campbell Nicholas, has been fined $100,000 and disqualified from managing a corporation for four years. The penalties were in relation to ASIC's case against him, the former CEO, Rory McLeod, and NUMI over historical company disclosure obligations breaches in financial years 2019 and the first half of financial year 2020. The value of its inventories, revenue and profits were overstated during that time, which was during Nicholas's tenure as and Rory McLeod as CEO. Proceedings against McLeod are ongoing. Once the hidden warehouses full of excess and out of date stock were uncovered, the company ended up having to restate its accounts for two years, declare $590 million worth of write-offs, enter a nine month uh, trading suspension to then witness a massive share price crash when it resumed, undergo a complete board company executive and leadership team renewal, uh, shareholder class action and other legal actions against it. Uh, Federal Court Justice Ian Jackman said Nicholas's contraventions spanned eight months and two financial reporting periods, which showed they were not isolated uh, or a momentary lapse in judgment. He ruled Nicholas was responsible for deliberately misleading the board of directors on the revenue and inventory figures. The ruling follows the court approving a $5 million civil penalty agreement between NUMI and uh, ASIC. Simley Milk boss Grant Watson has resigned after leading the company through some particularly challenging times. In fact, company chair George Adams called uh, the period an unprecedented era in history in which Watson oversaw Sinlay's financial reset and debt reduction strategy. Dairyworks CEO Tim Carter is now acting at CEO for the whole shebang. Breakthrough Victoria has invested $2.5 million in insect protein pioneer Viridian Renewable Technology, saying that the company is a leader in alternative protein production at scale. Viridian's proprietary manufacturing process transforms excess food into highly nutritious, easily digestible premium insect protein. Its point of difference is that it uses high quality excess food, not food waste. So think all the bread left over at your local baker's delight at the end of the day. Uh, that is fed to black soldier fly larvae, which dutifully chomp their way through it, producing clean protein ingredients with much higher nutritional quality than other protein sources and much lower environmental impact. Naturally, that means we refuse to eat it because, well, maggots. But uh, we'll happily feed it to our dogs and uh, pets and watch their hair and skin and nails look fantastic. They're really smart. Anyway, a few business stories we've featured in the last week. Uh, the debate over how we define small business with business groups wanting to raise the number of employees from 15 to 25. The latest Federal Innovation System report shows investment is still languishing. But the way the office lays out the statistics is excellent. I highly recommend a sticky beak around those figures. RSM Australia's National Manufacturing League, uh, Lead, Louis Quintal, also wrote for us on the impending mandatory sustainability reporting requirements and how companies can prepare for it. Yumi has an upcoming webinar on food waste and sustainability with Michelle Mullins from Tyson Foods out of the US and Lyons Justin Merrill sharing their experience and insights. And the program for Future Food Systems February Summit for Food's Sake has been released being held in Coffs Harbour at the end of February. I'll be hosting it, so you have to come. Obviously, there will be a field of people far smarter, experienced, and with much more valuable information than me, 
But come on, cassava, two days, discussing the future of our food system. What a way to get the year started, I say. Anyway, that'll do for today, this week. Head to the website, foodanddrinkbusiness.com.au for all of these stories and more. Uh, with thanks to Hydroflux. And with that, I'm Kim Berry, over and out.